Miriam Olvar es eh, consejera de investigación de la Agencia Sueca de Desarrollo Internacional y está aquí con nosotros en los estudios de la Televisión Nacional de Chile. Emilia, how are you? Thank you for being here. It's my pleasure. When one asks why, the answer may be why not. So, if I exclude the answer why not, why Sweden is interested in uh, the research in social sciences in Latin American countries? I think Sweden is not simply interested in social sciences in Latin America, mm -hmm. but Sweden is interested in supporting research in the South, research in low and middle income countries. And um, Sweden is, I think it, we have a very special approach to this, and that is that we connect uh, support to research to poverty reduction mm -hmm. and the fight against poverty. Why do you want to fight against uh, poverty? <laughs> Maybe obvious, but uh, it's not obvious for all the world. I think Sweden on Sweden has two reasons. Yeah. First is a solidarity, basic solidarity mm -hmm. uh, that is expressed in our policy. The second one is um, obvious self-interest, because we would like to live in a safe, secure uh -huh. world that has a sustainable development, sustainable in terms of so social development and in terms of sustainability. Um, in, in the field of environment. So it's a safer world in general? A safer, a safer and more equal world. A more equal world. And more equal means safer or safer? Or, or to be more equal is a condition to, to be safer? If you ask me personally, yes. Yes. then I would say that uh, in an un extremely unequal world, you cannot have security, uh -huh. you cannot have peace. Yes. And when you talk with other people outside Sweden and outside the Latin American countries, when uh, you argue with these um, reasons and these reflections, which do they answer you? Which the arguments they uh, reply with? I'm not sure that I understand your question. With whom I argue? When you say that, mm. Not all people in Europe, not all mm. people in central countries like the United mm. States, things like that. Mm. In terms of uh, lucidity or in terms of solidarity. Mm. Okay, when you say that, they reply what? We agree, we don't agree, and why? Um, we would, in, in the uh, CEDA, this mm -hmm. is the Swedish International Development yes. Cooperation Agency, work with partners who are based in the South, mm -hmm. but not exclusively. Yeah. I myself work with those organizations and also with uh, some um, multilateral ones. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, we, in our cooperation, we, we re really try to support research, uh, research production, and we would like to uh, When we support research, we have a special approach. We say that research is not only about producing knowledge. It's not only about the, the result mm -hmm. that is often um, materialized in a publication, mm -hmm. but it's also the whole process. So we, we support research uh, capacity building at an individual, organizational, yes. and institutional uh -huh. level. Mm -hmm. So uh, we provide support to PhD trainings, we provide support to universities yes. to increase their capability to manage research, and we also have support to national gov governments uh, when it comes to policy, policy making on research, uh, technology, mm -hmm. innovation, and higher education. That so, is within the research uh -huh. cooperation. Another field of our um, cooperation is uh, knowledge production research as such yes. uh, that is relevant to the fight against poverty. Mm -hmm. So these are the two main fields. We have a third field, although that is not handled by CEDA, and that third uh, field is uh, Swedish research that is relevant to poverty reduction, that is relevant uh, for Uh, middle and low-income countries. 
Is it possible to reduce dramatically uh, poverty and uh, why is it so hard? <laughs> I think uh, thousands of development practitioners have this question mm -hmm. every day. Uh, but what we see at a global level is that poverty has been reduced in the past decade. There is a significant development uh, in this field and there is a, a, a result that is partly due to uh, the work of development agencies, um, including CEDA. Um, is it possible? Yes, it is possible. Do we do the best way? That's an important question, and that mm -hmm. is also an important question for the researchers. And your answer? Uh, whether we do yeah. the right way. I think there are fields where we do quite well, and there are others where we don't do uh, mm -hmm. as well as we should. And also, we don't know because we don't have enough knowledge on that. So therefore, for example, we support uh, research on development and research on uh, how we, development agencies, uh, perform. Do we really do the right thing? So that's also an important question. Mm -hmm. In the last General Assembly at the United Nations, Dilma Rousseff, the President of Brazil, said in uh, her message that extreme poverty, for the first time in history, in human history, was uh, possible to be eradicated. She said, she said, for the first time, we can do it. It's possible. What do you think about that? As a representative of a development agency, I agree with this statement. Mm -hmm. We have to have this objective. This is what we are, have, this, this is what we have to have as a goal uh, for our work in the future. Why did you personally get involved in this in this task, in this mm. work, in this job? You see, I'm a sociologist, mm -hmm. and that's my background. And I, as a researcher, I did research on in inequality, poverty, social exclusion, the different mechanisms in the mi micro and macro level that leads to exclusion of the so certain social groups. Um, and there was a point when I felt that uh, and I think it's an important point, that uh, the research that I have done didn't have too much impact. Um, and I thought, now it's time for me to change and to do something that is a little bit closer to practice. Mm -hmm. And that's why I turned to, to development. Um, and the reason I said that it's important is that for us at CEDA, Focusing on research uptake is, ex is extremely important. So we are not satisfied when our partners simply produce a research report. We are not uh, satisfied when it's published and presented at uh, academic conferences. Uh, we would like this knowledge to be used. We would like to see that this leads to change in policy making. We would like to see that all the knowledge that rests on scientific research leads to a better world. Thank you, Emilia. My pleasure. And uh, thank you. Mm -hmm.